Hi, it's Dee Dee Bean here. Um, I just wanted to tell you before we get started on the video is that I'm trying out a new mic and this is only my only second video that I've done with the mic. Um, it, it says that it's on. Uh, the last video I did it, I put it on the left, but um, when I tried things on, it, it made a lot of noise. And um, so I'm, this time I'm trying it on the right. So let me know um, how the quality of the sound is. Uh, I'm, I'm having some trouble um, and with my voice rather with um, I'm kind of getting a, a chronic laryngitis and um, not quite sure what's going on with that. So I've got some tests coming up to, to check that out and see what that's going. So I thought I'd try to get a, um, a mic to see if that would help to where I didn't feel like I had to project so much, but um, not sure how it's going to go. So let me know uh, if you don't mind, let me know um, how that, how that sounds. Okay. How the sound is to you. Okay. Now we'll go into the video. Thank you. Hi there. It's Dee Dee Bean here. Welcome back Bean Beauties. How are you doing? I was, um, coming on here today just to kind of show you a bag. Um, it's, it's a reveal bag for y'all. Um, I have bought it some time ago. I have not worn it yet and I haven't completely unwrapped it yet. So we'll do the unwrapping together. How does that sound? Okay. Um, if you're ready to see my unveiling, can you please start off by um, hitting that subscribe button, making sure that you're still subscribed if you were previously subscribed because YouTube is playing some games right now and unsubscribing subscribers from everybody. Um, and, um, and if you feel like it, leave me a comment and, um, hit that like button so that, um, hopefully if I get few, few likes and some subscribers that, um, the YouTube algorithm will leave me alone and just do positive stuff and not negative. Okay. I'll be right back. Let me get that bag for y'all. Okay. I'm back. So today I'm going to reveal to you a nice bag for spring but summer. It is. Ta-da! It's a botanical drawstring bag, and it's, of course, from the botanical collection. I got it on um, the ilovedunie.com um, website. I purchased it back in March, March the 20th, I think. Yep, March the 20th. And um, she was normally $223.50. Of course, I got her on sale. For one forty-five twenty-seven. So when she finally, I had been waiting and waiting and waiting for her because I really liked her, and um, so I've been waiting on this one, and I've been waiting on the um, um, the other flower bag. How's that? I've been waiting on the other flower bag. I'm trying to see if I can remember the name of that one. Maybe it'll come to me later, and I'll let you know. All right. So today um, we're. Um, early June and um, it is back up to 223.50. Bag on the outside, it's made, it, it's made from um, coated cotton and it says it has textured finishes. The material that it's made from is water repellent coated fabric, coated cotton fabric. Um, it does have, it says it has a detachable um, strap, but it's one of these hard ones that have these little buttons. So I don't know if I'll be, you know, what I'll be able to do, but we'll try it out here with you and see if I can do anything with that. Um, the weight of this bag is one, a pound and nine ounces. So it's a light bag. So this goes to one of those, the lighter bags that, that that's a little bit easier for me to use. And I wanted to see if it told me what the, um, material of the these handles are let me go ahead and take the wrapping off i told you i hadn't you know completely taken all the wrapping off uh oh so she's going to be a little hard for me of course she's going to be mean um let's see they have it wrapped up really well that's, I'm always saying that about the Dooney, um, both sides of the Dooney are always usually really, really well wrapped. 
I'm trying to see if it smell like leather. It smells like leather. So I can tell you that the, 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 what it says here about the shoulder strap length is 12 inches. And the way she is right now, a uh, little tight on my shoulder. Well, a lot tight. So we'll have to see about adjusting the straps here. The height is 10 inches high. The length is 10 inches across this way as well. And the width is 7 inches. So here's the front of the bag. Here's the side. Here's the back. Here's the other side. The front again. Here's the bottom. So, just, so she does have the, the leather straps and the four um, little feet there. And let's see about, we can see what she looks like inside. Ooh, she's got the, she's stuffed right now. Let's take out the packing and she came stuffed so um that's good some some of the drawstring bags they don't stuff them so hopefully that's not too much bother y'all too much um here she has the the, the ring keeper with the machetta letter machetta leather on there um let me try to open this up a little bit wider for y'all see okay so back here of course she has she's a big hole a drawstring bag hole um she has one zipper pocket back here and then in front of the zipper pocket she has a, a slot pocket right there one slot pocket and then in the front she has two slot pockets right here and it says that it's a cell phone, but don't know if it'll fit. I've been trying to keep my cell phone case here so we can we can test things a little bit easier. And yeah, yeah, the cell phone case goes in here. Well, let me turn it around this way. In here in the front, and it goes pretty deep all the way down. And let's see, check out the other side. Yep, same thing with this. So they're both the same size. And it goes down here. Um, and it goes all the way down as well, too. I just wanted to leave it ha um, hanging out a little bit. A little bit easier for me to grab. And I just wanted y'all to see that a little bit better. And, of course, did you see it has the red lining? I love the red lining. I know I know a lot of people are tired of them, don't really like them. But, but um, I enjoyed them. I also, aside from the pattern of this, I really loved the pattern. I really loved the the intricacy of of the strap. You know, it it just I just I just love that craft craftsmanship of it. You know, it's lots of thought that goes into it. It's different. You know, so it it just gives you a little little something to look at. Um, it's a nice size. It's it's what I found, because um, this is one of the ones that I bought, you know, really not thinking. I just, oh, it's great, and really didn't look at everything. But the the handle here is a little bit smaller than the other one, I think, um, than the the Wayfair um, bag. I thought I had it here somewhere. I probably do, and it's just yes, here it is. Um, let's see. No, it's about the same size it looks looks oh no it's like a it is it's a teeny tiny like a, a a teeny tiny bit smaller so that's why it does feel a little bit different see when your hands are sensitive you can you can tell some things this doesn't you know look um much smaller but it is it's a little bit smaller so it's not so um hurtful when i close my my hands all right let's see if i can make this a little bit bigger so it can be a, a better um shoulder bag for me so you'll have to bear with me because it's brand new so when it's brand new it's a little stiff yes Winnie B we know what you're gonna say 
so I'm sure most of y'all who come here probably see Winnie B too. And when I say certain things, it's just, I can't help it. She's in my head and she, she makes all these different, um, sayings in my head. And I try not to say them because it just, you know, don't want to copy her, don't want to copy her too much, you know, but, but it's just kind of hilarious. And, um, I don't think I can get away with it like she can, <laughs> it's, you know, she's just funny and I'm not that funny. Um, okay. This is really stiff. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this today. Oh, gosh. Okay, it says it's, it is adjustable, but what's, the problem that I'm having is right here. Um, so you, y'all have to be careful. Remember, don't always take the struggles that I have with certain bags as, um, as that it's going to be difficult for you because um, I don't have strength in my fingers because of my RA. And um, so, so these kinds are really difficult. And what I have to do is unhook that and, and then you've got to make it come around down here so that it can come up this way. There. Okay, there. Now that's sliding a little bit better. Okay, there we go. And let me see if I can... Okay, I was able to slide it, so let me see if I can put this on the last hole here and then see if I can get it better in place. Okay, there. All right. Now let's do this side. Oh, goodness gracious. That's exactly what you wanted to be here for was to show, to see my struggles of trying to adjust a simple belt. But uh, maybe it'll be helpful for some of you that maybe have just weaker um, hands. Or maybe you'll think about it, remember it when you when you get older. <laughs> or when you, if you ever get older and get, well, we all get older, but if you ever get to where you're struggling. Oh, this one was a little bit easier. So it was just that one. Let's throw this back inside. Okay. So let's see. Oh, yeah, that gives it a little bit more room. I'm going to stuff this just with one. So excuse the paper crumbling. It makes things a little bit easier to um, maneuver the bag. Okay. And let's... Okay. Uh, what I do like a lot is that it's not just the, the little rope here it comes with the um this little toggle thing so that it'll stay in place and okay all right so let's see how that goes so i moved it two or three slots you know to the end and Mm. Well, I can put it here so then I can keep it up, up on there. So that's kind of how, how it goes. Uh, well, that's always disappointing. Um, I think what I can do is I can take this off because this is removable. And I can slide one of those hooks that I have. Um, let's see. I don't have it on here. I moved it. Oh, I have one on here. On this bag. Whoops. Okay. I've been doing some filming. Some, so things just kind of stay in the place. Um, Okay, so I buy these things. So I'm wondering, I have different sizes. And I might be able to slide it through here and see if this will work. Let's troubleshoot this together and see if we can make it. Because then, then if I, uh, I need to get a bigger one. I don't have... 
I don't have one handy. But the idea is I can slide this through here and bring it down here. And if I did that, then I can get a chain extender and then I can make it longer. So that's the beauty of being able to have um, I, uh, straps to be removable in some form or fashion. This one's a little bit harder. Um, you know removal and but it also comes with the beautiful design of the of the um of the handle that i like so kind of a double-edged sword um but i'm going to try that and definitely need to try that before i go before i use it because um it will it will bother me. So I'm going to be on, on Amazon tonight shopping, shopping with for those, for these, but bigger. All righty. Um, it's a short video today, hopefully. <laughs> and I just wanted to come on here and show you the botanical drawstring bag, let you see how, what it looks like. Um, it's been hanging up there. So some of you who have eagle eyes, Jackie from Jack's Bag Attack, uh, might have seen it and mentioned it. Um, and really, I really, really like her. Um, I'm starting to like the drawstring bags a lot more. I'm kind of getting to the drawstring bags, which is not normally something that I, I like. Um, but I'm hoping to to break them in. I need to break them in so that I can, um, um, so it makes it a little easy to open and close. Do have I do have several more... <laughs> drawstring bags that I bought that um, I still haven't shown y'all yet that I um, we need to um, to unveil and um, possibly unbox. I think I have one that's actually still coming in, in this in the box um, that I wanted to show you. Hibiscus. There, see, I knew I remember. I was looking for these and the hibiscus. And so I was actually able to score some hibiscus. And of course, can't just do one. I think I did too, but, um, you know, so we'll see what's coming and that'll hopefully be a video coming up pretty soon. Thank you again for sharing your time with me and being here. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you taking the time out to be here with me. And, um, when you subscribe, leave a message and a comment, it greatly, um, greatly makes a difference to, um, to my channel. And it also um, makes me feel a lot better. All right. Thank you very much. You have a good day. Bye. Love y'all.